Yo, yo, it's your boy, Mr. Ruffay, and we back here again with another one. This time around, we're bringing you After Pools, a little backstory on After Pools. I have been playing this one. It's first released out on beta, Android phone. You had to have a high-end graphic phone. This was a couple years ago. You had to have a high-end graphic phone order to actually play this joint, and you had to go through a bunch of things on to play it because it wasn't available in every region. But um, I had got my hands on it, and I was playing it on Android for a little bit. They stopped the servers, or maybe there was beta version, and then they came back up maybe the following year. I jumped back on it. Um, the last time I actually tried after pull out was on the Red Magic and that joint. That joint, I could tell they made a lot of upgrades and changes, but the game has always, to me, um, I feel like it was, it's a mobile game. It's not broken for mobiles per se. Uh, whereas though in the earliest stages of the game, it was more pay to win. Uh, I can actually show you a little bit of that. Um, so you had to use real currency, your money, and the body's gold bars you'll see at the top. Um, and you had to buy loot crates. Now in these loot crates, they got different weapons that... Well, I ain't gonna say... The, I'm gonna say the power level because it all boils down to... In my opinion, like this is my my uh, personal experience from actually playing the game. Um, it really boils down to how well you level your gun up in the earlier state. In the earlier part of the game, it's about how much, uh, how high you got the gun level and uh, how high you got. And I see that they actually added crates that you can buy with in-game currency now. Before it was just, when last time I played, it was just um, all real currency you had to do. And you can unlock by winning and completing missions to unlock uh, loot boxes like uh, Overwatch. So yeah, they got a bunch of different, uh, the rubble, well, uh, you got a bunch of different, categories with different abilities uh your gadgets such as like frag grenades stun grenades these all have to be purchased um you only get as many as you purchase so you will find yourself keep purchasing frags but as of right now in the game and just to let y'all know i have been playing this joint already as well like i played a little bit of it i was on the fence about buying it because you know my experience with the android version um but i said why not and when i when i played this joint, i said oh my gosh this is crazy and then i went ahead and played it on the red magic right after i played this and there really wasn't no difference in my opinion wasn't no difference but i do feel like the players have a slight advantage if you because i didn't actually check this either if you language controls yeah the sensitivity level they still turn all right I, I would say on android or iphone you would have to adjust your sensitivity level uh to your liking or maybe that you could turn a little faster because i'm definitely feel like i'm turning way faster um one of the downfalls about the game is that it has a auto aim lock on system a lot of people can see on console where that can be kind of annoying and a cheat uh, for Android it actually works good um, I started getting into mobile shoot. Android where a lot of the mobile shoot was starting to have like a uh, auto aim it's, it's like where it's built into the game uh, not like changing it settings or anything like that like it's the primary setting um, so this game does have that function and on the switch you control like i said i'm gonna show you all that i just wanted to break it down first for the switch using the switch control you see my guy over there too i got some uh gear back from 2017 when i was playing but on the switch i'm 
some water on a switch version um using the controls with the auto aim is like a slight advantage because not only can you move a little faster also can you also most of your like most of your kills are going to come from firing from the hip like so you're not going to need not gonna need to be aiming scoping nobody like that uh and the auto aim assist kind of contribute to that before i get into it my theory is that they're one they want to rank in enough money because I, the game is obviously doing okay um on mobile devices but my theory is for them to move it over to Nintendo Switch um, to try to get it on console so they can actually gain a little bit of money. That's why it's $19.99 on the Switch, but they also give you five-star armors and five-star guns and a bunch of creeds. Like a, like a, like a, um, I want to say a starter bundle, but they actually give you a little more than a starter bundle just for buying the game. Um, the game is actually free on Android and iOS, but you know, you're starting with nothing, you're gonna be grinding. Um, from before, there were a couple guns, and I can actually show you a couple of guns. We don't gotta just sit here. Before it was a couple guns, you see, I got that ACL 08 Dragon, and that KG 18 Patriot. That's a handgun. Um, or there was a couple guns that you can only get because you purchased from what I'm seeing now and it's like all random so you could potentially grind your way through and not spend a dollar if you pay play on Android but that $20 price tag as I said what I feel they're gonna do is rack up enough money to up their production to up the development team and um, they gonna basically approve the game off the switch versus who approving it from the android standpoint with it or mobile standpoint because it's on ios now also so i feel like that's exactly what they're going to do and by them having it on the switch they can actually go ahead it's not a bad game don't get me wrong it's not a bad game it's just that now that i'm playing it on the switch it's a little I don't want to say boring because at times it could be fun, but I'm I'm racking 25. I'm I'm ever like I just played several games and already I'm averaging over 25 plus kills and like no deaths per match. And this is me playing rank match. Uh, normally I get into a shooter game. Like I said, I already played this. I was familiar with the game mechanics. But normally when I play a shooter game, you know, I want to learn it before I jump in a ranked match. After my second team death match playing on the Switch, it was like, all right, I'm about to go right in. And the same exact experience. Only thing I can say different from ranked match from team death match, some of the players have higher power weapons and higher power armor. So it was, it was a little tougher to kill them. Still got the job done, but at the same, in the same token, they armor was higher and they was doing more damage with their guns. So, like I decided I'm gonna play rank match on this stream as well. So let me go ahead and now that I'll give y'all a little backstory about it so y'all know that I am familiar with it and everything like that. Alright, so you got when you go inside your loadouts, you got new loadouts. You can actually change the name of your loadouts. You can actually use different loadouts. You use your in-game currency to buy more loadouts. Also use your in you are, use your in-game currency to buy a lot of things on here. Use your in-game currency to buy weapon slots as well. I'm gonna show, do it just to show you. The uh, every time you buy it, the number will increase. That's seven thousand or ten extra slots. I'm gonna go ahead, or I could have spent three coins. Boom, I got it. Now I got 60 slots as you see. And I got a lot of weapons. Um, some of them I had to go through now that I'm trying it out on the Switch. I'm not saying that I'm gonna make this my primary game because I would like to see them fix it. Um, 
this game was um this stream was actually just to bring this to y'all um so y'all can see the gameplay so y'all can decide if it's worth your 1999 like i said the 1999 some people calling it a money grab but i what i feel like they're going to do is just like i said they're going to use which version so that's basically like you buying twenty dollars worth of content. They're gonna use the Switch version to push their community numbers up, as well as gain a little revenue. Try to bring millions and millions of Switch players over to the Afterpool community, and then they're gonna try to just keep developing it from there. Like I say, the main thing I can say, I got gear, helmets, I'm just gonna keep showing y'all shit so I'll get into a match. But um, the main thing, I think, it should be a button that you can preview. Oh, it is. Uh, button. Oh, it's X. Um, the main thing about this genre is with me is that is cross play. People like crossplay. In this case, I feel like this game should shouldn't be crossplay until they balance it out better for Switch and um, mobile. Because I feel like anybody that play on a mobile device is gonna get annihilated by this player easily. Um, unless you've been playing this since day one and you rocking top gear and the top weapons. Uh, the unique thing about this, which a lot of people actually don't like, is that you can upgrade your armor. What I mean by upgrade, I'm talking about literally leveling it up. As you can see, well, I'm going to go to the one I got on. You can literally level the weapon up. You can sell it for scraps or more money. Um, as you see, that joint on level one, I'm going to try to do a level up joint right now. They gotta add better controls to this joint too, because I had to go all the way back up top of the list instead of just pressing like R or something. Alright, so it was, the, it was the helmet. This joint they gave me in a pack too. They just gave me just for purchasing it. I'm looking for the helmet. As you see, I got a lot of stuff, and this wasn't all just because I purchased it. I had, oh, I signed in. So it is cross-play and cross-save. I actually was able to sign in from my Android device from my old account and carry it right over the, the Switch. So if I want to play on the go and I don't want to take my Switch, I can still play on my phone. And it is controller compatible on the mobile device as well. Um, I don't actually, where's my helmet? What, I can't break the helmet? Alright, that's... Oh, here we go. Alright, see? And then they let you level it up by using, like, this... Uh, I guess they, like, gear medals. I'm gonna find out. Are they materials? Materials. I'm gonna find out the exact name, but right now we're just gonna call them materials. You can level them up by like one level and then it'll show you the stat increase. I used 380, as you see, the defense actually went up. Uh, my shield went up. So that's why I said the game is kind of interesting, but if you add that currency, like they gotta do a better job on balancing, balancing the level up system. They gotta do a better job of balancing that level up system. I think if they could actually capitalize on that, this could be a good game, regardless of the, and that's with the um, auto aim. But if they can do something about the auto aim and balance the level up system, where it's more competitive play than, well, versus who has the best gear. Cause that's what it boils down to in this game. Who has the best gear? Um, like I said, you can grind for everything in this genre. As far as I'm concerned right now, I'm going to go ahead and level it up. As you see, I just put that joint up. That joint on 5, 
5,436 now, shoes. And I got 928. Um, I'm assuming like the little man running up there, that's like the weight of it. Cause you could see, depending on how much the loadout that you carry in, you can actually you see that joint already, what's that, two, four, five, five stars? Depending on the loadout you carry in, you, you're actually, uh, notice a difference in the speed and also as you see certain joints like uh warface if you're familiar with that certain gear items are sets um get a set you actually get an extra bonus so it's like all kinds of strategies to it well right now it's all the kinds of combinations to it where you can power power your armor or your gun up um, something else that caught my eye before I actually start a match and I'm gonna turn the camera off and then we just gonna rock in a couple matches and I'm gonna keep breezing in and out you know with a little convo but mostly I'm just gonna be into the game uh, one of the other things I noticed is that the guns you gotta read the guns details like I, I was not reading the guns detail I was just going off camo power because they give you all that how much damage it does fire rate the accuracy of the gun the stability the range and the uh, ammo so i'm going off of just straight up stats this is a stat game that's all this is this is a stat game i'm going off straight up stats and i noticed i actually just got i want so y'all can understand what i'm saying i just un got this weapon maybe an hour or two ago and I don't know if y'all can see it but this is the the KEA 42 Charlie the class shotgun this is a shotgun ladies and gentlemen not a glitch that's the shotgun y'all can't see it I'm gonna read it for you I'll say it's a fully automatic small weapon is loaded with a blinded ammunition perfect to surprise enemies who come too close blinded ammunition the bullet, well, that's what the bullets do. The blinding ammunition, the bullets from the weapon will blind your target. So then I start, I'm reading, I'm like, oh, that shit crazy. Like, that's, now I'm like, all right, maybe this game do got some hope. It's, it could be some strategy behind this game. So now I'm going through all the other weapons. That's why I got these ones on me. I start reading all the other ones. And I'm, the descriptions is crazy. Like, these are crazy ass weapons. But, what messes up what messes it up is the level one system i feel like they need to do something else to the level one system or balance it a little better like i said to make it a competitive friendly game um as you see they also got events they normally notice by you about that right in the beginning when you first turn it on oh also in this video before i start a match i forgot i said i was going to do that i'm going to spend a thousand coin i'm a thousand uh gold bars on i'm gonna spend a thousand gold bars on here as you see i already had some gold from purchasing it um and it's some gold carried over from when i had it before or today i never spend a dime on this game and today i spent $20 on the game, um, 1999 in the US, spent 20 on it because that's what you had to pay to actually get the game. But paying 20 gives you, uh, it came, came with a couple extra things as well that I already collected. And this gun was one of them. Um, all right, so before we start, I'm gonna sip on this water. I'm gonna go into the shop. Uh, I need, I want some six, I want some six star items. Oh, this jump south, never mind, I want seven star items. I thought it only went up to six. I want some seven star items. All right, so wait, this is training. Extra XP gives more XP than weapons of the same rank when used as material for power up. No, I don't want that. I don't want that. I want, I want. A weapon crate i would like to see the rest of the gear that they have though all the gear from this crate belongs to a special series you can find here the best gear of for combat 
okay yeah like i want some gear i want my like if i'm gonna be a nolly in these bulls i want to annihilate them in style like until they fix it i want to annihilate people in style. so that's what like i'm i don't know yet <laughs> but are we gonna see how we gonna climb this rank but i looked at the ranking board it don't look that bad it looked like a probably like a good months of time to catch up just playing it non-stop probably not even a month oh yeah they got a couple things in here all right so that's 85 all right so we're gonna keep that in mind get one piece of gear four five or six stars okay they got that big riot gear in here okay they got a couple things all right so what i'm gonna do is all right what's this one farming gear get one of the gear pieces that will help you in the farming game mode okay this is event jones okay see they got like that's what i'm saying that it got potential to be a good game especially on the switch if they can fix a few things and i'm not saying they gotta happen over time I mean, like, I'm not saying it had to happen immediately, but over time, like, those things would definitely need to get addressed. And I keep noticing that they got these little cards, these credit cards with the hand on it. I don't got none of those yet. Switch store not going to be up and running for... Not going to be up and running until the 14th of April, I think they said. All right, so what I'm about to do is buy some more slots before I buy... I have to buy some more slots before I buy a witch call them so I can make sure I open all my chests. All right, so good. As you see, I got a lot of money. A lot of money on this joint. I'm gonna buy some more slots. All right, we at? Yeah. That's 70. I swear I was just at 70. All right, we're gonna buy. All right, that's 80. All right, that's 80 slots, so that should be good. Now, I don't know if it's the gear slots is the same thing as the weapon. Nope, the weapon slots and gear slots are two different things, so you need to upgrade both of them. Oh, no, I changed weapons. I don't want that. done that so let's head over to the store yeah the, the weapons <laughs> weapon details like i haven't now that i read that i want to actually see if if they do ex if they do what they say they do in the details um yeah i just gotta check that out another note to take from this is the audio it's okay like i said it was a mobile game it's a mobile game that just got ported over that's all they didn't do nothing extra um another thing i can say take from this is the audio the audio is okay i feel like when he ported it over to the switch it could have been better all the guns almost damn near sound the same um guns most of the guns got a different I'm not gonna say reload animation, but it got a different reload speed, like you could tell. Um, all right, so I bought those. So we just gonna buy our. Right, how about this? I said a thousand. Oh wait, this joint a thousand right from the rip. This special package is one of the best to get weapons from. See, I don't want weapons though. I don't want weapons. Let me get a starter pack. Give me four and six. All right. Maybe I should buy the starter pack. Are these restricted weapons? This joint say five or seven. So that joint nice. I just seen that up there. I could buy that gun regular. Yeah, I could buy this gun. Got the bread for that already. That's why that's one of them. Good weapons from the black market. I just grabbed that. I did need. To, I did need to buy some more bombs. I'm gonna grab them, Johns. Everybody, my fault too. You already know it's your boy, Mr. Replay. Thanks for everybody stopping by and tuning in. If 
don't forget to go follow your boy on his other social media so you can keep up with everything that's Mr. Play and everything that's going on in the circle. Mm. Yes, sir. Get out here trying to make it happen. Right back to the game. Like I said, you can't purchase no gold on the eShop until April 14th. We want gear. Oh, wait. This don't say all season gear. Let's see what this is. Obtain gear from one of the seasons in the game with the... And, and, what's that? Fantastic. Oh, damn. Fantastic offers. I was about to say, I was thinking the Phillies. I was about to say the Fanatics. I ain't even know how you spell it. Or, but this only, see, that's how they trying to cap you. I spent a thousand on that. Oh, I say I get 10 of them, John. I get 10 of these. And one of these. All right, so we're going to try our luck. And, and we're going to make a whole new loadout before we get into a game. I'm gonna use the loadout that I was already using. Keep that, cause that I actually just changed one weapon. That was the loadout I was using on Android. All right, so we going buy one of these forming packs. Like I said we're gonna spend a thousand, but we had one thousand. We had one hundred and fifty right now. Oh, that's nothing. I think I actually got this already too. All right, so we gonna buy that joint, 800. Uh, we gonna spread it out, we gonna spread it out. We gonna buy one of these. Can't buy it in bulk. Oh wait, hold up. This 800 give you 10 though. So we get 10 crates and that means I still have 50 left to spend on the stream and I did just purchase a gun all right I did just purchase a gun I think we're gonna rock out with that this one all right no we're gonna only spend thought we only all right so we got 50 left to spend how can we spend this 50 Mad kits. Oh, we got out the guns we could buy. The LMG. It's a light machine gun. All right, so we're going to rock out with this. It's going to be one of the weapons we're going to try. We're going to go to the armory I'm gonna do the 800 all right one I'm about to turn the camera off so you can see all of that for the gear clearly give y'all a chance to read the description 15 percent the security barrette 15 percent reload speed on lmgs and assault rifle I'm carrying a assault rifle or LMG. 15% reload speed. Like little gimmicks like that I'd be interested in, but when it's not balanced right, I feel like they was trying to go the Destiny route. I feel like they wanted a military shooter, but with the Destiny level one up system, which it can work, but it hasn't yet. They have to fully get it. They gotta do some more tweaking. Okay, we got a hat. I don't even know how to pronounce that first. From a collection though. Special operator cat. From a collection. Like I said, we're gonna make a whole loadout and we're gonna 
gonna run that loadout playing rank match. How many kills I can pick? Oh, I ain't even get. They got a lot of customers. I I, I really understand. Like a lot of people are hating on the game because they like the game. I understand the concept of what they was trying to accomplish. They wanted you to make, have enough customization in there for your character to be. But wait, the way that all the games now are character customization, only character customization. That's why I say unique uh, and a level up system. You can still have the same pants on, but if you ain't work with them joints, you ain't level them up. You ain't about to do no wreck. Like, I'm about to be taking you out. Oh, them Jones coming. I'm about to, about to hook our guy up. About to be, about to be out there gunning and stuff. Hey, I can say they should add some more preset faces. Like, you definitely need to add a couple girls because you got a lot more girl gamers out there. Oh, yes. Okay, okay, that's something I would rock. I know that joint, that joint had a lot of weight. That joint for the tech looking. Hey, I think it was at 30% protection. Okay, it's something I might wear. The Hunter's mask. I'm assuming they will give you duplicates because, like I said, you can sell items. I think you can also like craft them. I don't think you can craft items, um, but I think you can craft them in material where you can upgrade other items, other gear and weapons. I ain't get no six star. Yeah. All right, so it's all set up. Set up now, so now we about to run up. Then we're going to go to a loadout. Oh, it's an exclusive time offer. Is it ready? I don't think it's ready yet. They told me I couldn't buy nothing from the top until the 14th for the coin. Offer. Let me in. Let me in. All right. Second. Type in my shit. How much it is? It's not too bad. Uh, get them purchased. Like I said, I'm just showing y'all the game, supporting the company, cause I, I, I can see the vision, but it's not there, and that's all they need is just a little help. Up. Uh, so currently is unavailable. They just getting us ready for that. That's all. Oh, I restarted it again. I didn't mean that. It did that earlier when I was in the uh, market. Yeah, like I said, this game got potential to be a good Switch title, but it also got potential, if they don't fix it, to break and make Android and iOS users, mobile users, leave this game. Because everybody that's playing on the Switch going to already get five star items right from the rip that's like overpowered and that's why a lot of people saying it's overpowered because when you first get in you really don't got nothing you gotta work your way up unless you about to spend some cash and they throw you right into a match with that's wearing armor that got eight thousand and the damage of they gun doing one hit kills to seven thousand damage hit points and shit like that and then you don't got no armor you don't got the right armor that you're definitely killing you but that's why i said it's potential there because you gotta imagine what if i did have the right armor i mean i would have took him three shots i mean i could have got behind got in cover killed myself then took him out 
and a little strategy to the game, but because of the level, to me, the level system, the level one up system is semi-broken right now. I don't think cross-play is a good decision for this game as of right now. And they should have just split the servers at Android on mobile user, playing mobile user, console user, playing console user. Feedback would have been crazy. I think the feedback would have been crazy. Um, most criticism I think they would have got is just about the auto aim or well, the aim assist. It's not even auto aim, it's aim assist because you gotta aim at them. But as long as they in your sight, it's gonna, it's like semi drag with them and everything. It's like one of them drag aims, but like they moving just left and right. You gotta, you're still gonna hit them. But on here, you gotta do like a lot of running, and that's the thing. It's no sprint, no jump, no crouch, straight up gunplay, run down and gun. That's all this joint is. All right, so we just bought all that stuff, so we about to make a new loadout. I'm gonna call, I don't know I'm gonna name the first loadout, so I'm just gonna call it first. I know I gotta come back to it. My first loadout. And I'm gonna call the other one. I'm gonna call the new one my stream loadout. Oh, we're gonna go to that. Oh no. What the hell? Oh, alright. So, new loadout is selected. Alright. So, we're gonna start with the gear first. Start with the gear first. Remember, if I complete bonuses, if I put a set on, I get extra bonuses. So I might do a little action. I know we already 40 minutes in. They all like, damn, this boy still didn't even play the game yet. I'm trying to get your little, you know what I mean? I'm trying to get the point. I know they want to know about the game. But we gonna get y'all the gameplay too. And like I said, I ain't just sitting here. I just up creeps. I just give me y'all vibes. Good vibes, getting y'all info, insight. Like I said, the gameplay gonna come. I'm gonna sit. I'm, I got like a good hour and a half once I start the rank match just to play straight up rank match. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I want that hat. Uh, I want to be kind of fast on this class, so I don't want to uh, overweight him. Like that hunter man. That hunter man is nice. And I got this John. That was something that got carried over from my Android. I don't got a lot of mass. Not a problem. Alright, I think we're gonna rock out with the hunter man. But that joint kinda weak though. But like I said, we gonna start that's the whole reason why we doing this. Start a new class. Rock out like that. we gonna rock out with. Oh, I didn't even see what that hundred mass do. I forgot they all got effects, so I gotta go back. In fact, we just gonna we gonna play from off the hundred mass. Whatever the hundred mass do, that's the weapon of that we gonna use. Negative ten percent plus ten percent accuracy. Shotgun. All right, so we gotta run the shoddy on this jump. Gotta run the shoddy. All right, so we gonna have to pick the shotgun. Right from the rip, we gotta go grab a shoddy. that I got. I was playing uh Android version when it first came out. 
And then a little later down the line, that's why I tagged all of them. I didn't know it was coming out on the Switch, though. All right, this is LMG. That joint, all right. But we got to use a shot. Oh, this joint look tough. Griffin. Yeah, that's a shoddy. Might rock out with that. Might. This joint kind of tough, too. Semi-automatic. This small two-barrel shotgun is a great choice. Causing large amount of damage over a short distance. Quick draw. That's why I say I need this character to be uh, fast. All right, this joint fully automatic. All right, so we're going to rock out with this joint. I'm about to upgrade this John. Oh man, I gotta get some more coins. More material rather. Alright. I'm just trying to make it even. Because if I play, I'm gonna play one match with my first one and then I'm only gonna play with the stream play. Uh, but I had the webcam on. But yeah, I'm gonna play one match with uh, that joint. I'm gonna play one match with, and one match in the regular team death match, and then I'm gonna do rank match. All right, all right. This joint kind of look fly a little bit. Let's see what just happened. Uh, okay, okay, okay. That joint do. Uh, switch speed to handgun. See, I got a handgun too, so we're gonna rock out with that joint. We're gonna see what else we got though. Look at that 7,500, 8,000. These are all joints that I got. Oh, this from the set too. All right, I got two from that set. 5,000. we just making them stylish right now, and this joint give you 5%. That's like a dirty version of the one I got on. But it ain't stronger than the one I got on. I joined 800. Oh yeah, I definitely need to check that because they about to be crashing me. Oh, that joint at 3,000. All right, so yeah, we good with that. This joint, oh, that's for assault rifles. Yeah, I'm gonna put that on the assault class. So now we on pants. We're gonna rock out. We need something to complement the rest of the outfit. I'm not using like machine guns, so I don't need that. Oh, this gives you protection against submachine guns. Okay. I'll be running 35. Alright, and this is a samurai set. Alright, we're going to equip that. That's 2000. Alright, we're going to equip that for right now. Okay, we got security agent pants. Protection. These joints against explosives, so I, I think I like those joints a little better. And it's a little stronger. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna rock out with those joints. Then I got another grenade. I just support grenades, that's why. And just to show y'all, this is the preset thing. Like you can change them. Like I said, they probably need to add a couple more just because they moved it over to the Switch and you don't want to buy it to the girls. So I had some girls on here. Girls go to war too. So like I said, I'm gonna get into a multiplayer match, but the multiplayer, I'm gonna get into a regular, uh... oh, I didn't know you could change the region. All right, so I'm gonna get in a regular team death match. And as I said, I'm gonna play with not the, oh wait. I forgot I gotta change the class back. I don't think I could do it in game. Yeah, I'm gonna change it back to class so you can see what I'm saying when I say overpower. Um, they need to have a way for you to identify whether you're playing a Switch or mobile user. You know, that's basic in the crossplay games now. Um, like I said, there's a couple things that definitely can make this game better. Uh, give you the option to play cross play. Right now, you have no option playing cross play.
like I said, I want to thank everybody for tuning in and stopping by. Like I said, I didn't want y'all to go out and spend your hard earned hard earned dub, which is 20. I didn't want y'all to go out and spend that and y'all wasn't satisfied with the game. Because like I said, this game is a free to play mobile game, which runs great and from my knowledge of playing both as of today, they run pretty much the same. Uh, great graphics as far as mobile and that's another thing I feel like they could enhance the graphics just a little bit more but it's not bad they're not they're not bad the maps are cool you know what I mean pretty like I said it's it's not bad it's just broken and when you got a not bad game that means there's potential there they just gotta fix a couple things. And being as though, like I said, it's on the Switch now, they had to fix. They had to work even harder at fixing these things. Because these were things that needed to be adjusted when it was just a mobile game. And if they I feel like if they would have switched, um fixed that, this game would have been getting more buzz. But now because it's on the Switch and the Switch got some buzz, the chance for them to be their name. But We'll see what happens from here. Like I said, I am interested in it. Uh, that's why I went ahead and purchased it. Um, and also purchased it so you guys can see as well. You know? But let's get into this. As you as you see, I'm rocking the LMG and I'm rocking the handgun. Yes, sir, that is a handgun on my hip. If I hit them with that handgun, it will slow their movement down and stop them from using any gadgets. Uh, the LMG, I'm not sure. I gotta have it up. See, look, I can hit them through the steps. Ba bang, 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 bang. I'm gonna go around though. Do you switch your weapon? See, how I switch my weapon. I start moving faster. You see how I was aiming at them, but I really wasn't like. All I had to do was just pull the trigger. But that's also because I was moving. So I'm gonna switch weapons on him. Boom. The LMG be putting them down. Oh, they chopping at me from back. Got him. Three in a row. Let's go. I'm going back up. Oh, they chopping at me. All right. Kill him. I am going to lower the sensitivity because I feel like it turned way too much. But like I said, compared to Android users, that's a uh, that's an advantage. So like you could deal with that, cause you be, and that's another thing. They need to add an ammo system. An ammo system will make this more competitive. I don't know how many shots I've been let off and reloaded, and I never ever run out of ammo. This gun don't have no scope, so I can't actually show you like the scope. Just shoot. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, switch weapon. Oh, I hit him. Oh, he got me. He got me. Man down, man down. Man down. That's because I missed him. Now, like I said, I just got, I lowered my armor and everything, so it's going to be a little more challenging uh, until I upgrade and power up those weapons I'm going to use for the stream. Like I said, we're going, we're going to work and learn these joints. If you want to see more videos or you want more streams of uh, after post, you know, all you got to do is like, follow, let me know in the comments. Oh, he running. Oh, man. I'm shooting at my man. The buttons is... Your health do regenerate. Get out of here, man. And that was a headshot. Your health do regenerate over time. That's how you just got to let it. Depending on the armor you got. You might have fast uh, regeneration. I don't know. Them, I don't know if that's on here. Come on, man. 
Switch back. Oh, they got me. They got me. I seen that. They both was unloading on me at the same time. But yeah, I think, yeah, what I just did with the stream, that was a good idea. I, like learning a new weapon, making a new class. I feel like that might make the game a little more interesting because, yeah, I seen you. I feel like that might make the game a little more interesting because now I don't have these overpowered weapons and I could learn the, uh, get out of here. Oh, got him. Where you at? Oh, he's still behind that John. Not getting me. There's no run, there's no slide, so you guys patient when you get until you get to them or you gotta just off them or we trash them and as you see look at that 23 and 2 I shouldn't even took those two deaths but that was cause I was running down on them like I said I just picked this up I'm playing like this is a competitive game like out there in the competitive field. I don't know if it is I ain't even gonna say that it's not but I feel like every Switch player got potential to be a great after post player as long as you uh just keep playing it. That's it. Like cause they start you off with the that Uwap Shabbat right from the rip. Alright, I did just get some more material. Alright, so we're gonna try, we're gonna try. We're gonna try uh, the class I just made, the stream class. We're gonna see about that stream class and we're gonna see if, oh no, oh no. We're gonna see if, I need to rename it. Oh man, oh, I, I, the game has crashed on me several times already. Um, so they definitely need to look into that. Um, they need to make getting into the menus and stuff a little smoother. And I said I'm gonna name this stream class. Stream class. The class we could just play around with. Test stuff out. Heard it here first. Stream class. The class that you try things out. Play around. As you see, everything level one. So I should... I should be taking more deaths this time around, hopefully. I know y'all like, why you wanna take more deaths? Cause like I, the guns that I'm using, I'm trashing them, it's not no challenge. And I would like to see this game grow. And if everybody just getting trashed by me, or everybody getting trashed by somebody that's playing on the Switch that plays uh, shooters, then it's like, I'm gonna make the other people move out. Like the other mobile players. And it's not even gonna give a chance for development to keep going because people can actually just not want to buy this on the Switch. And the handful of people that did that made all the other people quit that was playing on mobile and that cross server, that cross play server, that shit's going to waste and you lost most of your mobile community. So, like I said, I understand it, but uh, long story short, they just need to do some work on it. But like I said, I, enough about that. I've been playing this John since it came out on and off, on and off, literally on and off. Follow my YouTube. You can go to literally my first, I think it was my first or second video I ever posted two years ago. Um, it actually was uh, after post and I was putting up these same numbers. That's why I said it's still, it's, it's an advantage, but it's really not an advantage because I was still was putting these numbers up on Android when I was just using the touch screen. I wasn't even using the controller. Still putting these same numbers up. I started putting up numbers like 40 and 50 kills a game. Then, oh man, they got to do something. But while the matches look up and we're waiting, if you're new to the channel and you like the content that I'm delivering, you like the vibes that I'm giving, don't forget to go follow you. 
stay locked into everything that's the circle with Mr. Replay, you know. Yeah, I'm streaming on all, I'm streaming, well, I ain't gonna say all platforms. I'm streaming on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. Uh, when I actually record videos and upload them, most likely they're, they'll go straight to uh, you. Um, I might post those on my Facebook sometimes. Um, but it's always good to follow all them. But like I said, you can keep up everything that's Mr. Play. You know? I mean, we're trying to do big things inside the gaming community as well as for myself and life. All right, let's go. We're going to try this new one. All right, remember, this is a shotgun. I'm using the shotgun. I do still got my handgun. That's a little powerful, so if anything... If I come fall into trouble, I can use that John. That John definitely spit too. But we're gonna use the shotgun right now. We're gonna see how this John hit. It's an auto. I think it's an automatic. Oh, they got me. See, yeah, there we go. It's a little challenging now. It's better. But everybody about to be playing with this high power stuff. And that's that's what. Well, not necessarily because I can still got it on crossplay. down on them all right i feel like this joint needs no more ammo though like it need more in a clip if i had more in a clip i'd be doing damage all right see they do got the bullet holes bullet holes do go on the wall they they fade after time but uh, nice little detail visual effect they got the little ragdoll effect a little bit. Plays be all squirming when you pop them. I think the first game that I played with the ragdoll uh, effect, I think it was like flat out or fall out with the cars. And you had to throw them through the cars to hit the bullseye. That shit was funny. That was one of the funniest games. Get down. Got him. Who else? Who else? Where y'all at? Who want it? Uh huh. Switch that handgun because I knew you too far. Pop you. Where they at? Oh, switch too late. They need. Well, I seen that it was items that make you switch faster. Um, but they switched guns slow depending on the gun. Like that was a little fast because we switched it to the handgun. All right, switching to the handgun and the shoddy is kind of fast. Yeah, I was just slow with it. All right. That's my armor, man. I got to upgrade this armor. I got to upgrade the armor for the stream because the armor getting me killed. Still putting up numbers. Got one. Got one with the shoddy. Uh-huh. 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 Back your ass up for trying to sneak in here. You about to get it too. Oh, this joint reloads slow. Maybe some kill cams. Oh, I shouldn't have took that shot. Oh, they got different reload animations. Uh-huh. 
Uh huh. I should have killed both of them with the shoddy though. They wasn't even expecting that. This handgun is awesome. And like I said, it slowed them down too. So even if I'm just stunning them with that drone, I'm still good. As you see, it was a little tougher. It was a little tough. But I still came out on top. Like, it's, it's starting. All right, so that's what I, I would suggest if you do still want to purchase this game um, and you're playing on the Nintendo Switch. I would suggest you making a class for them five-star weapons that they gave you, that overpowered weapons, because, like, you starting from the beginning. You really don't know what you're doing, and you about to be coming and getting crazy top leaderboard kills. So I would suggest just so you can still have fun with the game and try it out, give it some time to get put into development. Um, or I don't know how they develop in this game if they want to break it off or they just developing it all at one time. Just release, roll out the updates for both. Well, for the game itself and it'll deliver it to the Switch or mobile. But just play it, make a lower class so you can learn the weapons. Like I said, because the details on the guns is very funny. It's not funny, it's, it is funny, but it's it's like, all right, so. All right, I said I was going to play for rank match. I said I was going to play using, matter of fact, let me stop it. Let me see if I can upgrade my, uh, my armor and stuff for yeah I'm gonna use the stream class they really gonna be getting headshots on me so I need to oh that's why I be moving too fast alright so I need to switch I don't need to do something. I need to do something. That's the one I got. One, two, three, Okay. Okay, they put the defense up a little bit. We're gonna try to, we're gonna try, uh, so I got that to 16 already. We need. Get it to 25 so we can evolve it. We're gonna try to evolve it on the stream today. And I didn't show y'all. I guess this is like the event battle pass. I already got the first one. I got that mask. Actually, we should try that mask. But that might change up my arsenal. I mean, I might gotta change up my arsenal. Oh yeah, I didn't even collect it yet. I keep forgetting I gotta collect it. And I needed some challenges. Like I said, you can re you can be rewarded gold coins. Yeah, you can be rewarded gold coins on here as well, just from completing missions. So technically you don't have to spend any money, like I said, unless you really want to. If you play the Android version, they make you spend $20. For the Switch version. The game is... I haven't tested the offline play, but on Android, it definitely was offline as well as online. All right, you got this item, Warfare Weapon. I got one of them. If you obtain money or gold, give them 10% more. Thank you. All right. Yeah, so I got a Nintendo Switch Fast Pass. That's gonna allow me to get extra stuff. All right, that's a sniper. That's a precision weapon. Oh, action. Got good. That damage on there was crazy. All right, so now that I got that helmet, let's see what that helmet is about. All right, let's see what this helmet is about. If I put, oh, if I put, let's see, if I put a set on, I think I got a set too. If I put this set on. If I put. I 
I don't think I got the pants. Yeah, I don't got the pants. All right, so I got two pieces out of three. So what did I get? So two piece set. All right, I got two piece set. Also, oh, I get both of them. All right, all right. So this joint protect me against and they get my reload speed. All right, so yeah, I can still use the shotgun. I do want a better one though. But let's. All right. Boom down feature is cool. Who train a handgun? Okay. Not super combat, but this one. Bark. Spare parts. Extra XP. Gizmo. Alright. Alright, so I can't use that for weapons, but I can or use that for crafting. This joint look crazy. MFX. And these are uh, my side arm. That's my highest one. I think I'm gonna still rock out with that joint just in case I fall into trouble. Ahead. Like, I gotta go through too much to upgrade it. Like, they should have a way to upgrade it right from here. I just used all my damn resources on the other one. I forgot I didn't um, collect that joint. I got that just early this morning. Alright, so now I'm gonna get one more. I'm gonna get two more regular team death matches then. Playing with the stream class to get warmed up. Then we just gonna do non-stop to say four days and four days and sixteen hours until the multiplayer ends. It don't really have and that's another good thing about this so far what I've seen, it doesn't have a problem finding matches, and that's all due to that cross play with mobile. Like I said, the community for after post and mobile is it's pretty decent um but now that it's on a switch i definitely will want to hear what a lot of the mobile players have to say um so i definitely going to be doing that tonight like in the community in the um after post community uh checking out what they think of it or if they got it or if they play if they feel like players they played a couple people that had it want to know what they think so i'm gonna do a little research on that tonight about to see but this match hitting for you know i mean let's see if i'm gonna tear it up again
go. And they can work on the load time too. So. Shotty. Damn, put ball down one shot. Put him down. Let's go. Oh, they got me. I ran out too far. He had a little bit. Had, oh, shaking the table. It had a little bit of challenge when you actually uh just start a new weapon instead of having an overpowered weapon just until you get the feel of it i mean if you just want to keep winning all the time and it's not even necessary that you're going to win because you got to remember you're not the only person oh switch yeah, you... oh i shouldn't have ran up on him yeah you're not the only person with uh er... you're not going to be the only person with a switch so everybody that actually has a switch is going to be doing the same kind of damage and has the same kind of armor until they upgrade it or whatever the case is. So it's, once more people start purchasing it for the Switch, on the Switch side of things, it's going to get a little balanced. And that's why I said I feel like, that's why I said in the beginning of the video, I feel like they're going to uh, focus on a Switch. They're going to focus developing it better on a Switch. Uh-huh. They're going to focus on developing it better from the Switch uh, standpoint, but still make it run on the mobile for a better game. It's going to be... Like, I feel like at first we're going to all be getting the same updates, and then I, it's going to shift from... Damn! Thought I was going to be able to switch and dunk on him. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be like uh, the update's going to come out around the same time or on the same dates. They do updates for mobile and, uh, oh shit, I thought they was behind me. My fault. For mobile and, uh, damn, I just reloaded. Got him. Uh-huh. Where you going? Got you too. Run down on him, uh-huh, reload. Where we at? Uh-huh, run down on him, uh-huh, get back. Switch, switch that shotgun out, uh-huh. Uh-huh. All I needed was a shot. All I needed was a shot. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. I got to get back. Reload. Weapons. Y'all here. I ain't even had to just reload that. I got your back. Oh, you be getting hit. Oh, they jumping me. They jumping me. I couldn't get him. He was running around me. Oh, but what was I saying? Oh, the uh, updates. Yeah, I think they're going to come out at the same time in the beginning. And then I feel like if the game is a success on the Switch because of all the things you can start with, they're going to start doing the developing development around the Switch. Mm, got him. Oh, I ain't get him. One that match, 24. I took more, I took more deaths, but I'm still averaging the same amount of kills. All right. One more. One more. One more. One more, and we gonna take a, a quick little intermission. Um, It's definitely hot in here. I gotta get some air and some more water. We're gonna take a quick little break so y'all can get yourself together. I'm back. Watch me finish running through these balls. So, like I, like, well, the question that I asked in the title was, did Switch 
just break this game again because a lot of people were saying it was broken already which I can understand in my opinion I think it is slightly broken but this switch break this game even more now you've seen the gameplay I went through it I discussed it I explained it go back you could go back on, on my YouTube and watch my one of my first videos and you can see the difference from the earlier uh, version of the game and then let me know in the comments let your boy know I think I still got a title after post um, like I said you go over to my YouTube follow me over there at well it ain't at but you know, follow me at circle written just like that the picture of your boy his logo you know you'll find it watch that video and you could do see the comparison for yourself like I said a lot has changed so I can see that they have been working on it well I think they've been working on it for the switch to make it a better version for the switch no I think they was working on the whole game itself and like I said with them throwing it on the switch I feel like that opens up another door for better development for the game as long as they can bring over 15 I'm gonna say 20% of switch users they could bring over that 20% of switch users to their community I feel like they're gonna Start developing content not just around the switch but far as like the mechanics and making everything better getting bugs and shit fixed out they're going to start most likely working on it for the switch and then doing whatever tricks and mods and hex and flex and everything else they do behind the scenes to make it run the same or oh on the switch i feel like they should enhance the graphics because i feel like this pretty much supported graphic enhancements could have been slightly better auto i mean the aim assist should have been optional um you should be able to see y'all knew it was because they knew it was coming out on the switch you should be able to see if you're playing with a switch player or mobile player you should be able to turn Cross play off. This is everything that I think they should do. That is, what's well, what's wrong with the game as of today, as a streaming this right now, as of somebody that been playing it since the earlier days before it actually even released and everything like that. No, I didn't leak it or do anything like that. I had the beta. I was, I had out to it and got a chance to play it like that but from somebody that experienced it all the way up until now seeing the changes that they made um let's do this let's do this the day is March 31st so in 30 not 30, let's say in ninety days, ninety. That's three months. Ninety days. We're gonna do another after post uh stream. It's gonna be an update. And we're gonna see if they changed anything. Did they fix any mechanics on the switch? Oh bull got away. If they made it better for the Switch, if they made the overall gameplay better, yeah, get out of here. He's trying to run. I ain't aiming at him. I was just shooting. Oh, he got me. He got me. He was letting off. But yeah, we're going to see. So in 90 days, I'm going to make sure I set it on the calendar. I do an after post Switch update and see. What are you talking about? I just unloaded on all of them. And he had he had some armor on. That joint was taking a little too long to kill him.
Oh, come on. I ran out of ammo. That's another thing. I see like these quick these guns that only got a little ammunition. Alright, I got them. They could make the buttons more responsive too. Cause it still feel like I'm playing. That's why I said like it could do a little better on this joint. Cause it still feel like I'm playing on a mobile device. Even though I'm playing with the pro controller, it feel like I'm playing with a. Get out of here, bro. You too. It still feel like I'm playing just on a mobile device with a controller. That's all. All right, my health back. Let's go fight. Let's get into another fight. Oh, I ain't had to let off that other shot. Oh, wrong person. And that's an, I don't see no maps. Did I get him? Did I get him over there? No, I didn't. Got him now. Maps. I didn't even peep that until now. Oh, that joint not hitting them from there. Got him. I shouldn't have reloaded. I reloaded at the wrong time. Yes, I did when I shouldn't. Have. Yes, I did. Yo, we trashed them again, though. Damn, I was going to get him. I was going to get him. I was running down on him. I was going to get him. Yeah, see, now that I tried it that way, but I feel like you shouldn't have to do that. You know what I mean? If y'all going to be going off a leveling up system and who can, you know, just grind the work or pay money to get their stats up, um, like I say, it got to be better balance than what it is right now um but like i said after i just changed to a lower loadout and as you see i'm taking more deaths i wasn't dying i died one time in the other two matches um as i lowered it you can see the difference because the weapons are stronger than my armor so it really it really boils down to the armor that you have on and it has so much armor it has 1200 weapons that's just weapons not even gear so many weapons and gear on here the customizations and the possibilities of setting up your character could go to an endless point if they they don't even have to do that because it's already there so the possibilities are there but they still have to get that level one up system implemented a, in a better way than what it is already because like i said the switch oh i got something in the shop oh that's just something new oh so they be yeah i still didn't get none of those uh credit cards yet oh that joint 52 aksg 12 that joint look nice and it's a shotgun that's a shoddy Fully automatic, devastating shotgun with one of the highest rates of damage per second in the armory. All the weapons in this series have upgrade firepower and an extra 5% headshot damage. They also award an extra plus zero XP every time you get three kills without dying. Wow. I Like I said, it 
it this game has potential now like playing it on the mobile and playing it on the switch is almost the same exact experience the only reason why i'm saying almost is because i was somebody that played it on the mobile already so now that it's on the switch and i'm actually just looking at everything on the big screen in detail uh, when I first started playing, I just played because it was a shooting game. And I was just like testing the waters on a lot of shooting mobile games. Um, I was testing the waters. It was just a regular shooter game. And I was like, oh, got a little upgrade system. Okay. But just as of recently, and like I said, I played it since it came out on and off. Just as of recently, I started reading the guns. And I'm like, oh, all the guns do something different. All the ammo and armor do something different. Everything does something different. So how can I actually, I want now I wanted to try to use it into a way where I can actually see it being put to use. That's where I think the switch will come in. If they could balance the leveling system right, as many weapons and customizations on here, they can have a great game. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be a, a Call of Duty computer, but this still could be a great game. Even, like I said, even with the aim assist, even with just, Maybe lowering the uh, aim, the aim assist, lowering the aim assist um, sensitivity. If they lower the aim assist sensitivity and maybe slightly work, like just to start off with, slightly work on the balance system of the leveling up and uh, like adjust weapons and customization they could literally they got enough stuff right now to stop even making putting weapons and stuff in the game and just keep working on balancing and if they can get that balancing thing together with this level system i'm telling you this game could be something good because most of the matches you're going to see regardless it's always going to be somebody with a different weapon a different armor a different gear running a different strategy it might be things you didn't think of. Oh, let's combine this gear with this gun and make you move faster and slow up your team, but do less damage. So then you be running uh like things like that. So you'll be a, a supporter versus uh and have a med kit instead of grenades. You'll be a supporter instead of um uh, assault or attacker or front line. You know what I mean? You'd be supported. That's where my head is with it. Like it got potential to do be a game like that, and everybody can literally have a different feel, and not just a different feel, but feel like you put that work into customizing your sur your soldier or your loadout, which would be more gratifying when you do hit that top tier rank, and when you do decide to, or when you do decide to play rank match, going to be more gratifying if those fixes was made. But as you see, with me changing to a lower, I, I want to get that um shoddy too. As me with me changing to a lower rank equipment and lower primary weapon, it made the game feel like it's exactly like it's a shame I should have to say that it feels like oh. Okay, now I'm having a little fun, but that's only because I lowered my stats in order to have fun when I shouldn't have to lower my stats in order to have fun. Um, also, like I said, if they work on the aim and aim assist, they add a little more competitive feel to it. But I feel like this, even though it is a okay looking game, nice maps, the the aiming on here is anybody can pick this up and play it. Put it that way. Anybody can pick this up, and play it, and actually be good. Now, if they work on the aiming a little bit, the scoping, like change the sensitivity levels up just a little bit, I'm telling you, it'll be more on the competitive side. Then you'll have more competitive play, maybe see more tournaments, maybe even hear about the game more. But with all that being said and done, don't y'all go nowhere. This is Mr. Replay. we be right back at the. Freaks! Y'all like how I did that? Sound like a commercial, right?
yo, 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 we back. Like I said, we about to get a, for the last couple minutes of this gone, get a good three, maybe four rank matches then before we end the stream. So like I said, in this stream, just a recap, if you're just catching it now, you can go back and watch the video playback. You know what I mean? Go watch that video playback video playback. Go watch that playback video. Um, yeah, we basically just discussed was the game actually, did the Switch actually break the game a little more, hence the title. Um, I explained everything that was actually happening in the game. Um, I showed the gameplay. I showed how the upgrade system worked. I showed some guns. I even opened up some chests. Um, I think they call it crates. They might be crates on here. I opened up some crates. Um, I did it a lot in this stream just just so y'all can have a full understanding of where I'm coming from as well as why I thought the game was already broken but had potential to be a good game. Um, I made a new class with new items. Um, I showed the items that they give you just for purchasing the $20 Switch that makes you overpowered. The, the mobile players as of right now oh, we got an arrow we're gonna get back into it though it ain't about none um yeah like i said i really demonstrated a lot and showed a lot in this john so all you gotta do is just back and watch the or you know whatever part you want break it down how you go but yeah for them and like i said the game does offer it does offer offline support so like you can practice um i think play against well on the mobile one it's, i haven't tried it on the switch but it's cross play and cross save so i'm assuming it's the same game all the way around um you was able to play with the bot so you can practice try out weapons um they got other game modes as you see you still waiting for people to join in the match but they got other game moves, rank match, uh, team death match, operation, which is which is a mode that I think is on respawn. I think it's like maybe like four or five game modes within that mode, that game mode. Um, other than that, we're gonna wait for this operation. We're gonna wait for this team death. I mean, this uh, rank match to kick in, and then we're gonna get this popping. see we got another error message i'm about to share that with the company they can know that there was a problem but like i said we're gonna get a couple uh rank matches then before i end the stream and let me know what y'all think in the comments the software needs to move to art so maybe i gotta turn the whole system off and then because it's not oh it started up but yeah let um gonna do a couple more why is this up here get it up up there that was my fault guys but yeah we're gonna get in a couple matches um hopefully it don't mess up again 
we're gonna use the class that we made we're gonna keep things pushing like that like i said if when i try to stream this joint i'm gonna stream with either the newer classes that i just made and it's always gonna be like inside the stream class just for like a little prototype test dummy um and like i said as a as of the switch releasing this is you want to have fun if you want to have fun with this john or you want to be entertained with it i would suggest not using the five and six star weapons and gear that they give you and actually just start from scratch use it for like a backup but so you can get an understanding of the game and have fun i would suggest starting a class just like i did and just level them up um during the little break i did level up during the break, I did level up my face mask and my body armor. So it's now the body armor is now the highest armor I have on my in my um inventory. So we're gonna see how that do. Next we're gonna try to work on upgrading the witch call. Like I said, I'm gonna play it for a little bit um off and on stream just so I can get the feel of it to see if they really gonna make more changes or see how much they change up to the um, release of the switch which is today so yeah we just gonna see but don't y'all go nowhere i'm about to bring y'all this gameplay um and don't go nowhere i'm doing something right now that's what that i'm doing something right now that's why i gotta turn the mic off real quick you hear me but i'm still here i'm playing the game with y'all They do not want us to get into a league match. We're gonna get us one more go. And if not, we just gonna end the stream on that. As you see, this is all being tested here live first so you can see it, so you can determine whether or not you wanna buy this game or download it on your mobile device. Um, is it worth the $20? I would say it's worth the twenty dollars if they fix a handful of things. A handful, not a lot. If they fix a handful of things, it would be worth the twenty dollars. But in my personal opinion, that's why I did it first, so y'all would have had to. In my personal opinion, I don't think right now at the state that it's in, it's worth the twenty dollars. Um, I am going to give it. I could change my mind. I'm going to give it a little time. I'm going to play it for a little bit. But as of right now, I do not think it's worth the twenty dollars. If you really want to play it, or you really need a military shoot or something different on a switch, by all means, then yes, it definitely would might be worth it um, for you. But if you playing Gold Company or anything like that, it's other games out there that you can get for free and don't gotta pay no money and get a better experience. But like I said, we're gonna get into some more uh we're gonna try to get into a rank match. Trying to get y'all two or three rank matches. But I keep crashing. Stick around, stay tuned. If you crash again, boy you gonna end the stream and I'ma just keep trying on my end all stream. But as you see it does have some issues with the server. 
not issues with connecting people, just issues with the server that keep crashing. So, they locked in. Thanks for everybody for coming, stopping by, watching and chilling with your boy. Don't forget to hop over to the other social medias and follow your boy so you keep on keep up on everything that's Mr. Replay with the circle. Feel me? Don't y'all go nowhere. We trying to get into these matches.
I don't know if y'all caught that at the end. It was a little glitch. Y'all see the uh, mag was just hovering in the air like a drone. But as you see, that's the gameplay for after I just on the switch. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Let me know if you want to see more videos of it. If you want to know more about the guns. Cause I'm like I said, I'm gonna keep playing it. Um. And I'm gonna give it three months, like I said, up into 90 days, and then um, if they don't make no updates or no kind of improvements or anything of that nature, then I'm most likely gonna drop it. The update that I hear about, as you see, I just unlocked the box. Um, we're gonna go ahead and open that box before we end the stream. So, yeah, like I said, I enjoyed myself. I hope y'all enjoyed yourself. About to open this box so i got two boxes to open for real so let's go we got two crates we're gonna get see this is gonna be a weapon we're gonna use in the next stream hmm sniper don't want to use no sniper not in a running gun game like this on that map that i was just playing on snipers could definitely work SMG. That joint was alright. Who was that? Three stars, four stars. You already know what it is. Your boy Mr. Replay. It's been real. Y'all been great. Stay blessed. Show love. And I'm out. Peace.